Joining me now is Congressman Mike Pence of Indiana, whom we all just saw right there. Congressman Pence is the Republican Conference Chair, and thank you so much for joining us on this very bet, busy Alex. day. You all bet. right, uh, you suggested that Republicans may get the last laugh come the midterm elections. Is this somewhat premature, though? Do you worry that they, the Democrats may gain more with the passage than the Republicans expect? Well, look, I. I I don't know if it's the Republicans are going to get the last. The American people are going to get the last word here, Alex. And uh, you're either going to see Congress uh, stand with the American people today who oppose uh, this government takeover of health care with its mandates and tax increases and public funding of abortion. Uh, or or you're, ultimately, you're going to see the American people express themselves in other ways on other days. Uh, but, you know, we, I, I got to tell you, Republicans are focused completely today on going to the floor in just a little bit and making the case against this government takeover of health care. And despite the, uh, you know, the posturing and the statements that they've got it done, I, I still like our chances. I still think we got a chance to turn back Obamacare and immediately tomorrow start to work with uh, Democrats who've stood with us on this and, uh, and build the kind of incremental step-by-step -step reforms that will be acceptable to the American people. Are you looking past today, or are you and the Republican leadership still reaching out right now to Democrats that remain on the fence ahead of this vote? Yeah, we're reaching out right now. Uh, this is all about today. Uh, we're uh, talking about strategy on the floor, but uh, uh, I just left a worship service, a uh, bipartisan worship service that took place over in Statuary Hall. First time in a lot of years there's been a church service in the Capitol building. Uh, and uh, I saw members talking with one another. I know there's efforts to reach out to people like Bart Stupak and the, and the pro-life Democrats who have taken a stand against what, if, if this bill passes uh, in its current form today, it'll, for the first time since Roe versus Wade, it, it will provide public funding for elective abortion and uh, I commend those Democrats for taking that stand and uh, we stand with them and I know a lot of Americans were praying uh, for their courage and their strength as we go into this battle today. Well then what is the executive order from the president all about to keep that from happening? Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, while Democrats on Capitol Hill say there's no public funding for abortion, we hear the administration is uh, currently drafting an executive order to make sure there's no public funding for abortion. It seem, seems to me uh, they ought to talk to each other a little bit more. Uh, that sounds like tacit admission uh, that Bart Stupak and other pro-lifers uh, on Capitol Hill are right, uh, that Democrats are poised uh, to enact legislation that will provide public funding for abortion, which of course it does. Uh, and executive orders notwithstanding, the American people want uh, the law of the land to stay as it has been since the Hyde Amendment was first adopted. And the law we are considering enacting today doesn't provide those protections and it should be rejected. All right, if this does pass today, certainly Republicans must have some strategy in place for what they're going to do. Can you share that with us? Well, look, I got to tell you, you know, I'm, I'm a big believer in, uh, you know, staying focused on the task at hand. I do believe we can turn back uh, this government takeover of health care. It's going to be close. It's going to be tight. But I believe we can turn this thing back. Every single House Republican is going to oppose this bill. Many Democrats, uh, albeit a minority of Democrats, oppose this bill. And uh, we're, we're not looking at after action strategies at all. We want to win this fight for the American people. But part of winning that is making a commitment that I'll repeat on your air today, Alex. And that is, is after we stop this legislation today, first thing tomorrow morning, we're going to reach out to all of those Democrats that helped us stop it and immediately go to work on the kind of step-by-step -step reforms, allowing Americans to purchase health insurance across state lines, passing malpractice reform, covering pre-existing conditions through existing state funds. This isn't about winning and losing. This is about doing the right thing according to the lights of the American people and according to the principles of this country, which is, which is really not more government, more freedom. That's how we can solve these challenges. And we'll go to work on that tomorrow if, Lord willing, uh, we carry the day today on the floor of the House. The promise for the dawn of a new day, though, I can guarantee this is going to go well into the evening and the dark hours tonight. All right, Mike Pence, thank you very much for your time. Best of luck. Thanks, Alex. Thank you.